everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I got my beautiful sisters here. Hey. Um, What's up? So, we're just going to have them introduce themselves and tell their age. And then I'll tell y'all what we're getting into. Okay. So, who wants to go first? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm Keandra. I am 21 years old. What's up? I'm Brittany. I am 26. Hi, I'm Nadar. I'm 24. Well, I'm not. I'm 23. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Joelle. I'm 24. Hi, I'm Shayla. I'm 19, oh, even though you already know that. But anyway, so we're just going to be talking to y'all about what godly women look for in men because we tired of y'all sliding in our DMs. Mm, say it again. For the people in the back. I'm in the back. You're in the back. <laughs> <laughs> what up, back there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. I got a few things. I got a list I'm going to go down and they're just going to fill in as we go. Mm -hmm. So, first things first. Can you pray? Huh. Hmm. Listen, how many of y'all? Can you intercede for me? Come on. But what is interceding? Interceding. Okay, so praying and interceding, there's a difference. Interceding is when I can't pray for myself, like if I'm down and I'm out and I can't pray for myself, you basically stand in the gap for me and you pray almost as if you were me. That's good. So yeah. that's interceding and then praying. Literally, that's like, I feel like everybody, well, everybody don't know how to pray. But if you don't, look it up. <laughs> but is God. it, when you say, can you pray for me? I don't want to have to come to you as a woman and you're supposed to be my leader in this relationship i don't want to have to come to you and ask babe can you pray for me or all the time now there are yeah there are some exceptions where right. you may not know that i'm feeling you know down and out but you should be in constant prayer. The Bible says you ought to pray for your future spouse. Even if you don't know yeah. who they are yet, mm -hmm. you want to be able to pray for them because you want to know that they're praying for you as well. As in your journey to becoming who you're supposed to be and in theirs and becoming who they're supposed to be. And when you get in the relationship, it shouldn't stop there. You should still pray for them Keep constantly mm -hmm. in your alone time and together that's a big one when you get in a relationship i want to know we can pray together mm -hmm. so yeah that was good. right right and then what goes along with that is obviously do you know jesus like you have to know that's him right <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, <that's the> <laughs> like if you're praying you you gotta know him so um that's the big one if you don't know jesus just don't look at don't even look at me um <laughs> And then the second thing I have is, do you understand that I am called? Come on. <laughs> so you have to understand <clears throat> first that I'm not called to be just your wife. Like, I'm God's daughter. Yeah. For one, I have a purpose to fulfill. Like, he put me on this earth for more things than just being a wife or a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that there's things that I have to do. Um, I can't be all about you, especially if we're dating. Like, if we're married, it's a totally different Say thing. That. But if we're dating, I can't be all about you. Like, sometimes I'm going to have to pray. Sometimes I'm going to have to go to the secret place. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's just what it is. And that's I don't know true. if anybody wants to chime in. So, you guys are telling me that even if I'm dating, to God, I'm still considered single. You surely oh, you are. Can touch on that. You so surely are. So even man. if we're dating, you yeah. have to understand I'm still single. <laughs> Come on. And there's covenant. things that I can only do in my single time mm -hmm. that when we get to that married part, I mm -hmm. won't be able to tap into. Yep. So even if I'm dating you, I'm still single to the father. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Because we haven't made a covenant yet. That's true. So he has to understand that he can't control my time yet no, or no. i don't I, he doesn't get wifely benefits no 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 not really a no ting oh not a ting i hey, like hey. it i like it oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, really no, ting. no 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 say that <laughs> and joel you were about to say something mm -hmm. oh i was um listening to sarah jakes roberts and then she said, basically, you have to understand that I'm called to God before I'm called for anything else. I'm not called to be your girlfriend. I'm not yeah. called to be a wife. Mm -hmm. If I'm single, first and foremost, and not only that, even if I am called to be your wife, that's secondary to call to mm -hmm. my purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's, that's good. good. 
Bert, did you have one? Mm -hmm. For this one? Oh, no, not yet, not yet. Uh -huh. We come. Nothing? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. nothing yet. Okay. Nothing Shh. yet. Nothing yet. Okay. 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 So my next one is, do you understand or do you know how to pursue? So. Pursue me. Wow. <laughs> Good Listen, person. not that A girl. Exactly. Yeah. A girl. Come here, red shirt. Because I was I not named girl. A or blue. Come on. Or come the on. color that I was wearing. Girl, my name purple. is not girl. I was not named that. A purple. A red shirt. <laughs> no, for me, freckles. Don't call me that. Mm. Don't, don't. No. I mama. understand. That is mommy in general. I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not nobody's mama yet. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to just maintain. Only mm -hmm. to my white right fluffy dog. Yeah, that's it. That's so, so yeah, like, do you understand how to pursue? I feel like in our generation, for some reason, we've developed this pattern of I pursue you until you become my girlfriend or you become my boyfriend mm -hmm. or whatever, and then the pursuing stops. But mm -hmm. you have to understand that pursuing is forever. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like you, you can't stop pursuing. For one, Jesus never stops pursuing us. Yeah, right. and we can't stop pursuing him. So. We have to model our relationship of how we deal with Jesus, almost how we deal with you. Not that it's the same, but we were made in his likeness and his image. So yeah. we have to, mm -hmm. it has to have be some type of similarities there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I feel like you got something. Um, <laughs> um, oh, there was something. Oh, I was listening to Michael Todd mm -hmm. from Transformation mm -hmm. Church. And mm -hmm. he was basically stating that you should never stop dating your significant other. No matter yeah. whether you're married, no matter yeah. whether you have kids, you guys need to set time apart or set a time apart for you guys and for you guys only. Mm -hmm. um, that means like no phones, no children, no work, no none of that. Yeah. You just yeah. focus on your individual person there, or your spouse and whatnot. So basically that means... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. Holy Spirit. <laughs> Like, okay, like women, we're like on simmer and guys, they can get hot real quick. Mm -hmm. But if you start from the morning and work your way throughout the whole entire day, by the time that yeah. you get to nighttime and you get to that date, Listen. it's like we you've been pursuing me throughout that whole day. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel wanted. It makes me yeah. feel loved. Yeah. And if I'm already yours, like, you know what? <laughs> we're probably going to edit that out. Because, yeah, this is for the singles. No. Oh, you're yeah. right. This is for the yeah. singles. I mean, that's gonna be great when for the you marry. Part. Now, for the when you're part. single, first of all, when you're single, <laughs> it's amazing when you feel like somebody wants you and not need you, but wants you, want to pursue you. It's something very beautiful when he, he first of all, does stuff intentionally. Mm -hmm. and that he intentionally calls you he intentionally texts you and he's like hey I just thought about you you crossed my mind like little stuff like that and just okay. ask you out on a date that makes you feel like hey you want to be with me hey you want to be here you want to be in a relationship with me, so we can go ahead and pursue with God together mm -hmm. right yeah for oh. me the one thing that like really caught my attention first of all I need to see your fruit mm -hmm. I need to see the fact that you have fruit as an individual before you can offer me fruit in our relationship. Mm -hmm. So for me, my like first grabber is going to be, do I see you praying on your own? How do you handle your time when you're not in a relationship? Because I've heard that so many times mm -hmm. from pastors is, you know, like I said, the time that you get from being single, you're not going to get the same time in a relationship, even if you're just dating. It, it's a difference. It's a small difference, but it's still a difference because you're now trying to pursue this person. So this person has to understand that, okay, they kind of, they're, you know, trying to, they're interested in me. Yeah. So even from before we get into that relationship, I'm going to be looking at your fruit as your individual, as a man. Or how do you treat your mom? Mm -hmm. How do you treat your sisters? How do you treat the women around you? Yeah. How do you hold mm -hmm. yourself? How do you pray? Like, I'm looking at your fruit first to determine if you're even going to work with me. Yes. If you're going to have the fruits of the Spirit. If you are patient. Because patience is a virtue. Because first of all, in a godly relationship, you got to be patient in order to wait till marriage for certain sure marital do. benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. and so no, I need to no see... <laughs> <laughs> I need to see your fruits first. 
and I need to see your fruits as an individual before you can pursue me. And God will help you. Mm -hmm. He will help you mm -hmm. play yeah. your game. Mm -hmm. Okay? He will, he, will, he will give you, Holy Spirit is here to guide us. So yeah. he knows all about finding a mate. He knows all about all these things. And a man is supposed to learn from the Bible just like Jesus loved the church. He takes on that role yeah. as loving a woman. Mm -hmm. So I need to know if you know how Christ loved the church because he's going to be your example on how to love me. Yeah. 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 So I need that first. Who I need to see your fruit. Yeah. my creator. Come yeah. on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. And to piggyback off of that, what pursuit is not, quick story. This dude was like, okay, I like you. Put it out there. Want to get to know you. Like, barely, the bare minimum. Maybe started talking for like a week. And he's like, so I've been waiting for like a week. You're not going to give it up to me or anything? Like, I've been patient. Not waiting. I've been waiting. <laughs> It's been a week. Congratulations. It's been a oh, week. Oh, God. You know, it wasn't even a sprint. Jesus. Like, that's not even 30 days on a job. Why? That's not even 90 that's days at your first job. It's not. So but, that is not pursuit if you think that you're just waiting for some sort of time period just to get in somebody's pants and you're doing not, it for that that's reason. Not pursuit. That's yeah. not pursuit. That's, that's not, not persistence and that's not patience. Mm -mm. Our generation is very microwavable, though. They want everything right then, right, like right now. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, Patience, yo, first of all. It's a virtue. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And, get you and it's a fruit. Don't just wake up with patience. You mm -hmm. sure do work for that. Mm -mm. So, um, my fourth one. This one is big for me. Chivalry is not dead, y'all. Come on. It's not. Say it not again. Yeah. Like, Say it loud. Chivalry is not dead. It's sexy. Come on. <laughs> Honestly, I it is attractive. No. Like, when you walk up and open the door for me, like, yes. I'm not gonna lie, I judge you if you don't open the door. Exactly. Yeah. Silently. I really do. I really do. I, really do. I, I won't say, that. I won't say I judge him, but it is it to the think. point, it does make me think, but it also makes me pray for the men out there because there are just some men that just don't know who anybody. don't know yeah. they just don't know because just like there's been some women and some girls who's grown who've grown up without a father that don't know what to look for and a man and don't know that it is show it is it is good to look for somebody to open the door for you pull your seat out before you sit down have you walk on the inner side of the sidewalk instead of closer to the road mm -hmm. some men just don't know that yeah. so it's it's i'm not going to judge you automatically as dang he doesn't know but i'm going to bring it to your attention and i'm going to see where you've been because there had to be somebody that crossed it if not I'm gonna hopefully pray for you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of bring it to your awareness to where you do need to learn some of these things that will help because you want your daughter eventually, if you have a daughter, to have somebody that opens the door for them, yeah. not have them walk close to the That's road, mm -hmm. things like that. So while they may not every man may know, they will need to learn. There is at some point in a man's life where he needs to stop and learn and think, how do I want my future daughter to be treated? Yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. big. That's, yeah. And that'll change because it's not an excuse. I'm not giving you an excuse as a man that you shouldn't learn it. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that it's time to learn it. Mm -hmm. Because as a man, eventually a father, you should want your daughter to have those same things where, you know, a man treats her right like a princess the way she ought to be treated. Yeah. That's yeah. That's good. No, I think I think a lot of men have a lot of thinking to do. Like if you treated if you treated if someone treated your mom how you treat mm. a female, like how would you yeah. how would you react? Or like mm -hmm. you said, if you were to have a daughter, how would you react? So that's just something, you know, like that has to be thought about. We gotta, yeah. we gotta try to. I don't want to say chivalry is dead, but we, it's laying dormant, and I think yeah. it's something that we have to like pick back up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Start with your guy friends. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. like bring it up to them. Yeah. And wait, anybody got anything? I'm just going off of my list. Not it. Not it. We haven't heard from you. <laughs> I know, right? Um. For me, the biggest thing really is integrity. Okay, that's good. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> like integrity like as in who you are as a person like all right let's say like it's just something simple but let's say 
Let's see something for me to tell you. Like one time, here's an example. One time I was at a store, I'm not going to the store because they need to up up their security. But one time I was at the store and I was wearing a pair of shades and I accidentally walked out the store with them. The alarm didn't ring and it was in my hand, but I knew it didn't belong to me, so I turned around and gave it back. You know, it's, it's something simple, but you'll be shocked to how much people don't don't carry have or don't have integrity. Yeah. Um, and that follows the lines of just being honest, being truthful yes. with who you are with other people, because you'll be shocked if how many people actually live in a lie. Mm -hmm. They really just live in a lie. And they don't even know. Yeah. They believe their own lie. Yeah. 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 That's good. That's good. Anything, Brie? I definitely agree. Honesty is a huge oh. thing for me yeah, um, in general. I, For me, I like people who are honest and straightforward. I don't mm -hmm. care for sugarcoating or being around the bush. Yes, be polite, be respectful when you say something, yeah. but don't lie about it. Don't mm -hmm. lie for unnecessary reasons. Like, yeah. young know, back in high school, be like, um, you got some gum? Dang, I just got like eight pieces left. Now I ain't got none. No, yeah. yeah. like that was a lie for no Something reason. Something small for yeah. the smallest yeah. of things. So, just be honest. Like that is my big thing. If you like somebody, say you like somebody. You're not thirsty or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You're being upfront and you're being real. And I heard it. It's not. Go ahead. It's not what you say, but it's how, how you, you say, say it. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's big. Yeah, that's big. And I heard a pastor say actually just last night. Um, he said. If a person will lie about something small, what makes you think they won't mm -hmm. lie about something big? Mm -hmm. So just because like, and you're gonna, you're as a woman, because we wanna, you know, find every, every part of us to try to help somebody. We're gonna feel like, okay, well, you know, it's just something small. So you're gonna give him excuses and you're gonna give him the excuses he doesn't deserve. So first you're gonna be like, oh, well, you know, it's just something small. You know, he hasn't really lied to me about anything big. But why wait to see that bad fruit come into pass? Yeah. Why That's wait good. when he's shown you that he's capable of lying of something small? Or mm -hmm. anybody for that matter, men and women. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. just, if they can lie about something small, don't don't be mistaken. Yeah. They can lie about something big too. They surely will. Mm -hmm. And they will. Yeah. Just wait on it. Yeah. You don't know. wait on it. But you don't need no. to wait on no, it. Wait on it. Run, mm -mm. sis. Don't wait. <laughs> Get like Joseph at Potiphar's house. Run. <laughs> oh Lord. Um Okay, so for me the next thing I have is you have to have approval of my friends and family. Come on. Like wise counsel is so important. Oh yeah. You have to, of course, like if there's, she, Nadar said it earlier, don't have just anybody in your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know like you try to keep people out of your business, try to keep your business your own, but if it's somebody who has your best interests at heart and if they actually care about you and want to see you succeed and do good in life, then definitely consult them. Like see if they see something about this person mm -hmm. that you're not seeing because yeah. at the end of the day, like you like this person and you want to be with this person so you could be totally overlooking something that is big yeah because you don't see it because you're looking straight at them but they're look like the person behind you they're like mm, i you see this thing mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so yeah because you have love goggles on yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you think just because you're interested in that person that it's okay for them to have little faults because not everybody's going to be perfect and that's a fact but because you have your love goggles on, you're going to mistake yourself to think that it's something small when it could really be a red flag. Yeah. And that that's that's big. Like in the I was reading Ruth earlier today and basically Ruth got instruction. She was caring for her mother in law at the time, um, Naomi. And so she basically got to Boaz is at the end of the night where she was his maid servant and she stayed at his feet. But he didn't send her back just empty handed. Mm -hmm. He sent her back with uh b with barley? Bar I think it was barley. Barley. Mm -hmm. It was barley. It was barley. He sent he sent her back with like six things of barley. And so mm -hmm. at that time he That's sent her back barley. not for her but for her family. Mm -hmm. And so at that point he made it he made it clear I'm not only interested in getting your approval yeah. I want your family to be approved of me that's biblical so don't take that 
oh, you know, they're not in our relationship, so they shouldn't. No, no, they need, they need to have that okay even if they don't get along with them all the time mm -hmm. but that's something else you got to deal with too because you got to figure out what the reasons are for them not being along with your family because that could be that could be some tension down in the line mm -hmm. but he needs to at least honor them and know that they are a major part in your life mm -hmm. so any any man you need to have you need to have good counsel from your family from your friends that says you know what he's good we can go from here yeah yeah that's good true um, I was going to say, and that's not to say that um, the people who approve are in your relationship mm -hmm. making decisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's a difference between that people. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we got that. I supported Girl Scout. Oh, oh we have a little girl scout. Wow. wow. My God. You, wow. were, you were in my tummy. Oh, uh, I can't. <laughs> Lord, make me thin. Thin like a thin mint. And do it for all the YouTube friends. My God. All my YouTube friends. For everyone that likes, comment, and subscribe. My God. But tonight, we are going to indulge in the land of peanut butter and Girl Scout. They are. There's some more. Oh, okay. Um, Y'all, we, we getting, we passing around snacks. Oh, yeah. They As we take our communion. I can't stand you. Just remember what the good Lord did for you. Mm -hmm. What you And for your mama. Yeah. For I'm just holding because I can't friend, really have it. friends, the dog, deaconess. <laughs> um, you know you want to About, before they run um, out. Godly counsel. Like, I'm going to put it out there again. <laughs> so um Nadar was telling me a story a long time ago or a while ago that um this guy was trying to pursue her and then she wasn't really sure she didn't even actually know that he was trying to pursue her but someone in her camp I believe her sister had a dream and she's like no 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 that's not it that's not nowhere near it like he's not the one because he's gonna try to get you pregnant outside of marriage <sighs> and do all this stuff hope yo dude's crazy some of them hold I'm the sorry. phone some of them crazy <laughs> So, got you these cookies. <coughs> <laughs> you can have these. You can have these. these cookies. These cookies. <laughs> so, it's very important to have godly counsel and mm -hmm. someone that has discernment to go ahead and sift out those snakes so you can only have the good ones. Like, mm -hmm. Them snakes. Mm -hmm. Them snakes. They be hiding in tall grass. That will go ahead and put their heel on the no head more, of them no snakes and the head of them scorpions. Yeah. But I'm a scorpion. You know what? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm a child of God. Mm-hmm. That's, that's me. That's me. No shade, right? Um, and for me, and this is my last one, because this is the most important one. This is the biggest one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm talking with food in my mouth. Um, <laughs> I put two questions, actually, so I'm going to read both of them. Do you want to get married, and are you prepared to take on a wife? Ooh. Ooh. That was good. Ooh. Listen. Mm-hmm. Just so no ring, no ting. <laughs> what? <laughs> no ring, no ting. 2018 slogan. Come on, no, no ring, no, no ting. Come on. Oh, that's like my And what do you need the second one. band. I don't need the second one. I need the second one. You need two. You mm. gotta look like this. I'm not married though. It's on my right hand. But period. That's big because yeah. one. How are you talking about you trying to marry somebody and you can't provide? Uh -oh. I you don't you know, know how to protect. What is that? Yeah. Wait, what? Uh. Can we elaborate on provide? So does that mean I borrow money from my mom, or, mm -hmm. or he has to borrow money from his mom to pay for our date? The no. Bible oh my says, God. "Is that what that yeah. means?" Leaves provide? His mother Because I mean, he pays no, no, no. still, right? Mm -hmm. You need a job. Really paying. No, oh. he's robbing. He's robbing Rob and Jack. That's not even pay. It's Peter to pay, to pay for Jill. Oh Lord. <laughs> Mama you need a job. To fund our relationships. So yeah, like, no, no, no. You need a job. You need a job. You need a good job mm -hmm. that's going to yeah. support us. Don't get me wrong. Not I'm going to do my part. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my part. Our money, like what I make is our money, but you also have to be bringing something mm -hmm. that 
as a man, if something were to happen to me, if I were to lose my job or anything, like you can still provide. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we not. It doesn't cause a. It doesn't cause friction in our relationship if it were to happen that way. Mm -hmm. If I were to lose my job and then you had to support me for X amount of time. It doesn't cause friction to where now you're coming home upset every night because mm -hmm. I'm not bringing in what I used to bring in. Mm -hmm. So now you feel like you have too much of a load, and then that that brings tension on us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that job part is good because I that 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 comes along with the fruit. Mm -hmm. And can we talk? I about need to see you. I need to see you hold a job. Too. Yeah, that too. That too. I need, I, I don't want to see you breaking up with jobs every other month or oh, every six months, flag. every year. That's a because that's commitment. commitment. Exactly. You think just because he can't hold a job, he don't like his job. No, he can't. He is afraid of committing exactly. to one like thing. Just I heard what uh, Pastor Jason last mm -hmm. night. He said, "Reach for your dreams. Go to your job." Come on, listen. Ooh, that's right. Cause you, he that's can good. still be yeah. dreaming. That's you good. can still dream, but, but still, still have responsibility. Yes, ma'am. You still Don't need to clock, clock in. in you Don't still need to clock in. I don't need you worried too. about how you Don't gonna pay your minutes. car payment because mm -hmm. you don't feel like going to work. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Dream and go to work. Come on, come on. And then can we talk about intentional dating? Cause I, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what this trend is now. We're waiting for we just talking. We just talking. What are we? But we, we just talking. Bump that talking. Don't let we go in. Man, why can't we just, we just kick it? Pause. Let's just chill. Oh, oh, I, my favorite one. Um, we just chill. We, we just chill it, but. Um, you don't need a title. You don't need we a don't title. We don't need a title. I think we know what we, we are. We don't want don't anyone to label us. Exactly. My God, call me by name. Come on. Come name. on. What? Title. On. I wish I had, you had a flip now. I'll Come shake on. it real quick. Come on. Just because. Oh, Listen. No, 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 no. I ain't doing that no more. No. Mm -hmm. Wasted no. too much title. time. Oh, you don't want a title. I don't want you. You don't want me in your life. Yeah, no, no. The hashtag. Waste her his what? time. Waste her 2017. <laughs> yeah, that's saying in 2017, right? I guess we're not making a comeback. We left that. <laughs> it's not even so much about the titles. You know that you don't want to be in a committed relationship. Mm -hmm. You just want as many benefits as you can get without <laughs> making somebody their significant other, your girlfriend or your boyfriend. And that's not what we're here for because that ultimately doesn't go anywhere no, yeah you're gonna no go team. back in circles and Let's you're gonna be, be frustrated yeah so make it known and make it clear what it is that you want whether you want a friendship whether you see yourself with somebody and if you don't don't play like you do mm -hmm. like you know you know if you can see somebody if you have to change too many things about mm -hmm. a person mm -hmm. You don't really want them. You want the idea of them. Mm. You want the thought and the look the of them. Idea. So yeah. keep that in mind. Yeah. Oh, okay. So even when you're doing um, anything, when you're applying for a job, when you're actually playing a sport, they always be like, okay, what position are you applying for? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Football or what position do you play? So I need to know what position do I play in your life? What, am I your am I your girlfriend? Am I your wife? Am I aspiring to be your wife? Am I just your friend? What am I to you? Mm -hmm. And if you want me to be more, I need. To, mm. uh -oh. I felt that in my spirit. Oh. <laughs> Who are you talking to? If you want me to be more, you need to Women. promote me to more. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, boss, <laughs> but let me to okay. promote me. So when when we say heart. promote and all that is good and it's. And it's time, but then also, don't be out here rushing your dude. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't do it. Don't they know what he wanna do. Don't come out here rushing. The Bible says, don't don't awaken love too early. Yeah. So if you're not ready to date, which means I also heard because you know February churches we released a whole bunch of knowledge and wisdom. Ooh. I also heard Ooh. a man needs to know when he's ready to date by the fact of if he's capable in the future of providing yeah, if he's really. capable in the future of making this girl his wife so intentional dating also means check him up front what are we doing are we going to be in this just to talk yeah. or am i going to be mm. in this to progress is mm. there's is do you see a journey with me do you see us progressing in this relationship and not just staying in interest mode yeah. because you can't just be interested in me in me for six months come on no you should that's know by where then. you should know by then if I we're girlfriend girlfriend 
And then from right. there, we need to know life down the line. Now, don't come at him in a year. Do you think I'm about, 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 am I uh, your wife? Where's my ring? Wife? Like, don't, like, don't come doing. at him like that. But Are we intentional dating means no. you're going to set the standard when you first start talking as though this is where we're moving. Mm -hmm. I don't see us rushing into this, yeah. but I'm not mm -hmm. here for games as well. Right. So that's what intentional dating is. When you go for that, just set your standard, make it known. Now don't go in there, you know, giving him a full resume and a bunch of six months guidelines. Like by 90 days, you can get cut off. So <laughs> it's not a corporate job, but right. it is a standard that you need to set. Don't leave people wondering. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't see any any of that happening let it go don't yeah. even That's don't see don't even the play future. with it don't even if you're planning on not making her your girlfriend not making her anything to you more than a friend don't talk to her mm -hmm. all right yeah. yeah do not talk to her in that there has to be boundaries yeah because if you are feeding her some things it's going to be blurred lines and then what's then what's going to happen your emotions going to get attached and then after that it's going to be a whole entire mess what's mm -hmm. the thing your dad tell you the quicker There's though. a lot of things. Oh. <laughs> the, the one about the quicker thing. Oh. The quicker, the better. The longer, the deeper. Yeah. yeah. It's the, the deeper, the harder. The deeper, the harder. The deeper, the harder. There you go. Okay, um, so say it again and then explain it. The quicker, the... I'm sorry. I had, <laughs> I had something else on my mind, so I'm like... Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to get something back. Get it back. Where'd it go? Um... The sooner the better, the quicker, the deeper, the harder. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. That's there it. Is. Meaning, if you are interested into someone, if you're interested into someone, if you're interested in someone, um, be honest about your intentions from the start. Yeah. Don't wait until you're in the relationship mm -hmm. and already into some things or already into confessing things for one another or going on a thousand dates or yeah. already kissing and holding hands and stuff like Ooh, that because basically the so more time you spend together the more the more strong of a bond you have yeah. which means the deeper the harder the deeper you get into the relationship the harder it's going to get because for you to loose. just mm -hmm. you know release that yeah so the sooner the better you are about your intentions or your motives about the relationship or even if there is one or if there's not, the better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah. deeper you get, the harder that soul tie is. That's I good. wanted to talk about, like, because my brothers, they play football. And one of my brothers, like, sometimes there's he could play in two positions. There's sometimes he could play as a safety and there's sometimes he could play as a receiver. Um, but it all depends on what the coach prefers from him at that moment or in that game. Mm -hmm. Sometimes guys just prefer girls to just take charge and take the lead and it's not okay like we're living in a society where men it's okay for men to be passive and women be aggressive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't get me wrong i'm with my sisters you know all that but at the same time biblical standpoint just like how keandra mentioned it earlier that you know a guy is the one that defines the relationship exactly often yeah. us girls are going to guys asking what are we mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is this um, what are we doing? Yeah. Where are you taking me out to? Exactly. <laughs> the guy is the one that defies it. Mm -hmm. So it's him. It's, he's the one that's going to like establish, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do next. How can you know that for sure? If you go to the um, the book of Genesis, when Adam and Eve first ate the fruit, yeah. notice how their eyes were both open after Adam ate the fruit. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. So when you that. think She's about it, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So when you think about it, mm. when you really think about it, it's the guy that sets. I mean, women. I do believe we set the tone. Mm -hmm. We can set the pace, but a guy is the one that continues. He's the one that pursues. Yeah. He's the one that, that is constant about it. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like us girls, we have to understand our role. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we playing safety? Mm -hmm. Are we playing receiver? Mm -hmm. Are we playing corner? Like, we need to know our position. Sometimes we're giving guys Too wife much. material yeah. and we're just girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Or we're not even girlfriend. We're just friend. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have to understand Don't that our much. roles and, mm -hmm. and each other's lives. We can't just jump in and, oh, I'm going to give him girlfriend benefits and eventually, hopefully, I mm. get those girlfriend rewards. No. And at the end, he ended up walking side by side with someone else and you yeah. feel some type of way. Yeah. yeah. You have to understand, if you are a friend, Be there a are friend. friend, there are friendly 
benefits, I guess. Mm -hmm. If you are a girlfriend, there are girlfriend benefits. Mm -hmm. If if you are a wife, then you give them wife benefits. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like sometimes we get confused when we're walking around in the spirit of girlfriend and we're wondering why we're not wife. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to remember you are a girlfriend or you are just a friend. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we try to rush through things and we don't need a rush. Just take your time. Natural. Just take your time. No, no, you're If he's right. not defining the relationship as you right. as girlfriend, then yeah. you are just friend. Yeah. And yeah, it hurts. I'm not gonna say like, you know, it's gonna be okay. It hurts, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And when a guy shows you who he who he is at that moment in time, believe it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't try to missionary date. Just oh, believe yeah. it. Oh mm yeah. -hmm. That's just yeah. my two cents. Yeah. I like that. I like the yeah. two cents. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to be asking those type of questions. Like, where are, what are we, what are we doing? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to ask that question because if I want you to lead, you I'm should trying be to, yeah. from the mm -hmm. I want to trust you with that. Mm -hmm. And not only that, if you asked my father about me and he gave you the okay to yeah. pursue me, why should I be asking those type of questions? Like, you should already know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pray before you try to pursue me. It'll oh, save, that's number one. Listen, mm -hmm. it'll save, save so much time. Yeah. So much heartache. Yeah. Exactly. Rejection. Like, what if you feeling her, but she not feeling you, and now you went to her without praying? <laughs> Holy Spirit could have told you she wasn't feeling you. Yeah. But, right. like, <laughs> Jump the jump. Like, that ain't the one, bro. And now, and now you in it. The better. Mm -hmm. you the deeper out the heart. Out. And now you feel like you're rejected, but you should have prayed first. And you mad. So, yeah. yeah and if you do pray holy spirit will guide you how to pursue me mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. to love me and mm -hmm. how to tend yeah. to me and how to intercede on my behalf yeah because right. i remember one time i'm not to put your business out there but <laughs> <laughs> your business <laughs> but i, never I remember get like, <laughs> can i ask can you, I, I don't even know what she about to say oh so. anyway <laughs> um no, there was something I remember. Um, Zay, she's taking y'all. Um, <laughs> she's happily, she's happily, happily taken. Happily, happily, happily taken. taken. Okay, um, she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Don't yeah. slide in her DMs. Don't you the do it. The block mm -hmm. ministry is in full effect. My, my God, God. sisters. My God. Do you know that emoji? <laughs> I repeat. Oh do my not God. go on with the do story. <laughs> it is yeah. the yeah. Lord. Just remember that. I remember, <laughs> I remember That's Xavier cool. was saying something like you guys were having like a random behind conversation and then he um, he brought it up that he was praying for you or he was in his secret place and Holy Spirit said um, told him to pray about something. And then you guys were talking later on that day and then he was like, oh, yeah, you're dealing with such and such and such and such. And she's like, I wasn't even going to tell you that. <laughs> like Holy Spirit will guide you in your relationship if it's for the Lord and it's fruitful and it's giving glory to God he will help you yeah 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 sure yeah yeah uh, yeah that's hey wow we got a good one there we got some good, some good, good. advice um, I hope y'all like take this and apply this. So um, the next time you try to slide in my DMs, just come. That you come qualify. correct. Okay. <laughs> just check off each point. If you got it, then you know slide mm -hmm. on in there. If Holy Let's, Spirit told you to. We'll see else. what you about. Oh yeah, but you <laughs> know what? Counsel just first. One thing before that whole thing, like if Holy Spirit directs you, mm -hmm. that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Don't be like one of those people in the bar to be like, yo, God told me you were my wife. He did not tell me that. That's what you did block. That's a whole nother conversation. You weren't Listen. talking about my Holy Spirit, not my God. He <laughs> <That's only laughs> just came at me. He could talk to you. He not the time that I serve. I just want to he put that out there and make you. that clear. Holy Spirit definitely will guide you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if it's right off the bat, God just told you you're my wife, why? Yeah. How? That doesn't yeah. exist. How? That was that was way too quick. It doesn't mm -hmm. exist at all. So uh yeah, let's leave, leave that there. there. So that was it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed <laughs> this video. I'll leave everybody's Instagram if y'all want to follow them. They got multiple pages, but <laughs> um, I'll leave it in the description and thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know and hit that's that right. I know that's right. Right below. <laughs> oh, right. All right. Lord Jesus, we just thank you so much, Father God. We thank you that 
whoever you have to pursue each and every person each and every woman that's watching this and each and every man that has a heart to pursue lord we just thank you because you're going to be guiding them and we pray that you guide them with your spirit and your holy spirit lord let not the pursuit be in vain and lord i pray that you give them confirmation after confirmation lord that it would not be out of order and out of your what my god out of your will and out of your love lord i pray that whatever Hmm. whatever spirit is wants marriage whatever person that wants marriage whatever person that wants to be pursued i pray that it'll be a holy pursuit mm -hmm. and there'll be purity involved father god mm -hmm. that there will be no no weapon formed against anybody's bodies but in anybody's mind but instead it will be something that you will be proud of and it will give glory to your name mm -hmm. lord yes, we god. thank you and we praise you for all the mm, for all the answers that's been sought after, yeah, that's been Lord. answered in this video. Yeah. And Lord, we thank you because there are going to be godly counsels that's going to help each and every person with their pursuits and each and every person that wants to be married eventually in your will, Father God. Lord, we thank you for each and every person's mind that clicked on this video. Lord, we just speak peace and sanity in each and every relationship that will be fruitful after this video. And Lord, we just praise you you because you are the only one that can go ahead and make us all whole to go ahead and get us into a relationship so we can go ahead and be have a proper covenant in front of you and in your kingdom yeah, yeah. so lord we thank you and we praise you in your name i pray amen amen, amen. bye y'all <laughs> peace